Hey everyone, we're here cooking some cinnamon rolls today. Out of all the ingredients, I'm just missing some vanilla extract and cream cheese. So we're gonna do without, and we're gonna do a little bit of modification. So I got some yeast, some milk. Because it's coconut milk instead of regular milk, I'm gonna add a little bit of half and half to it just to even it out, give it some thickness. Got some brown sugar, some salt, all-purpose flour, icing sugar, and butter and egg. So eggs is good for any pastries we do, right? As well as butter. However, instead of putting it on a regular pan, we're gonna make them into a muffin pan. So it'll be a muffin cinnamon roll. Oh, coffee. Everybody needs coffee. Oh yeah. The stuff of life. All right, for step one, we're just making the dough here now. Uh, after we mix it all up, the icing is gonna come later. So in this big bowl here, we've got the dried ingredients, which just includes three cups of flour and a tablespoon of salt. In this other plastic bowl, we've got two eggs and a one-third cup of softened up butter, warmed it up in the microwave. And in the metal bowl, that's where we've got the dairy, the one cup of coconut milk is what I used and a little bit of half and half just to thicken it up. And I whisked in two teaspoons of dried yeast. So I'm just using Jojo's cinnamon roll recipe. You can find that online right there. Ooh, that's bright. So we're gonna just mix up these three ingredients in the bowl. Hopefully it's not gonna make a mess because I have lots of little hairline cracks in this bowl. So I hope it holds together. Pray with me people, fingers crossed. I got this liquid here. I'm just gonna pour in this liquid here. There we go. Just gonna whisk away, whisk away. For those of you who are watching this, yes, I did wash my hands. I know I'm a guy, but I'm still clean. Uh, I just looked up the recipe again and it said it needed four cups of flour instead of three, but I have three in here and I find it's plenty of flour. I had a hard enough time getting this dough kneaded as it is with three, so. This is good enough. Now that the dough is ready, I'm just gonna put a damp cloth on top of it and then we're gonna get started on the icing. While I'm waiting for the dough to rise, right there with that damp cloth on the top, I'm just gonna clean the kitchen, take advantage of the time we needed to wait. And that's where I'm gonna start with the icing and the filling for the cinnamon roll. So by the time I'm done making everything, it should be ready to go. That's what I like about baking or cooking whenever there's a time limit in between for preparing things i just take the time and i just go around cleaning so just during the entire time that i'm baking i still have kiara here watching oh hi there kiara yeah she's just enjoying watching the baking going on aren't you oh, yeah. i just can't wait to have some cinnamon rolls when she's older ah oh, so it looks like my wife wants to catch me in action of what i'm doing I already have three quarters of my dishes done. The recipe's almost finished. I just gotta do some finishing touches and then everything is ready to go. Next time you see us, or me, will be when I finish the recipe. You'll see it all flattened out right before I roll it up and put it in the oven. Unlike most kitchens, I don't have a really big island to make my food. So I've got this, these two portable on wheeled islands. I'm just flattening the dough out right here. Just put a little bit of flour on, on the surface before you start rolling just to make sure that it doesn't stick to the surface. I'm just going to try to make this dough as square as this island so we'll see how far I can stretch it out. Kara got tired so we put her down. We got the music going on in the background. 
here for our finished product of the cinnamon roll. Yeah, you see it? All right, awesome. So it looks pretty good, eh? Uh, we've got some raisins. I put some hemp in there because I had so much sugar, it looked a little unhealthy. So we just added a few natural ingredients just to make it a little bit better for our gut health. I put about, I ran out of brown sugar about halfway through. So I got one half brown sugar, another half white sugar. And then I put the cinnamon on, at the, on top at the very end so I can see where everything's going. So now we're just gonna roll it up. We're gonna put it in the oven and then we'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. He preheated the oven to 200 and he just sprayed his pan here with some of this non-stick cooking spray. Pam. It's Pam, yep, that's what you can say. And now we're doing the rolling of the dough. It's a little thicker in the center. Yeah, I see that. Still looks delicious. They look great. Oh, that smells so good. This one's a little square because I kind of ran out of space on the muffin tray. Let's take this out. They look delicious. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, looks good. Tastes good. Smells good. At least I hope it tastes good. Yes, we'll find out. Nice yeah. and golden. Mm. Can't wait to dig in. See those raisins on top right there? Yeah, yum yum. Thanks for watching today's video on us making a cinnamon roll and just hanging out. I know that the quality of the sound on this camera is very bad, so I'm trying to talk high for you guys so you can hear me. Uh, I know you normally don't see me in this video, it's usually Felicia. However, because my company is on strike, You'll probably be seeing me in uh, future videos a lot more. So hopefully uh, you'll give me some support while I do some job searching. Felicia wants me to participate more in the videos. So if I do end up finding another job while we're on strike or if the strike ends early and we go back to work, you'll see me maybe once a month doing some random information talks. So thanks for watching. Subscribe below. Leave a comment on any recipes that you like. We're trying to find a more vegetable-based diet because we're eating way too much of a Western diet, too much meats and carbs. So let us know uh, your ideas and thoughts and we'll try to record it for you. Thanks for joining us.